All right, we're going to look at probability part three, which is looking at expected value. So our first question, number 49, we have that we have a bag that is containing three gold marbles, six silver marbles, 28 black marbles. Someone offers to play this game. Here's what happens. You randomly select one, that should say one, marble from the bag. If it is gold, you win $3. If it's silver, you win two. If it's black, you lose $1. What is your expected value if you play this game? All right, so we know that um, if we get, let's see, to win three bucks, um, what will happen is, or the probability of winning that gold would be three out of a total of three plus six plus 28. So we have 37, and then that would again allow us to win $3. The next thing that could happen is that it's silver. There are six silver ones. So we're going to have six out of that 37. And if we win that, it says we win $2. And the other thing that could happen is that we get the black marbles and then we lose a dollar. So again, that would be a, that's a higher probability because the point kind of is that whoever is starting this game wants to earn money. So we have 28 out of that 37 and we would lose one dollar so we express that by putting a minus one and again it's money so we'll put that in there. Um, again notice that 337 plus 637 plus 2837 if you add the numerators together it gets you 37 out of 37 which is one whole which means we accounted for all the different options. And so we could um, put this in a calculator just as is, or if you start to simplify, our first fraction would become 9 over 37, and then we'd have plus 12 over 37, and that would be minus 28 out of 37, which is going to be equal to, if we add our numerators together, we have 9 plus 12 is 21, minus 28 would be negative 7, out of 37. And if you enter that on a calculator, it's going to be about 0 0.19 negative, which means that we are going to be losing that amount because it's negative for us. All right. Now if we're looking at question number 51, we have a lottery game where the player picks six numbers and it's looking at just from one to 23. So if the player matches all six of them, then they win $30,000. Otherwise they lose their $1. Actually, it doesn't even say they paid a dollar, so I think that's going to be overall. They lose the dollar, so let's see what that would be looking like. If there are 23 numbers to choose from, and we only want to choose six, this is going to be our sample space, and that's actually equal to 100,947. And we want to have all six numbers, so that's going to be one out of that amount. So we have one out of... 100,947 and that's what's going to get us that $30,000. Now if only one of those 100,947 is the winner, that means the rest are losers. <laughs> so we're going to write 100,946, that's how many ways you would lose or not get all six numbers. And when we lose, it says that we lose $1. And so when we combine that together, it ends up that that's going to be about 0 0.70, and oops, that's negative. So that means we're going to be losing 70 cents. And again, that's the expected value. For question 53, I'm going to kind of write that down here. Um, it says that a company estimates that 0.7% of their products, so less than 1%, will fail after the original warranty. Uh, but within two years of purchase with a replacement cost that's $350. So they decided to offer a two-year extended warranty for $48. And so normally when a company does that, they, they don't expect their product to fail, and so they're willing to do that replacement. Um, but if people put in the $48, that's kind of what's helping pay for the few that they do need to replace. So let's think about the company's expected value. We have that 0.7%. So remember, that's less than 1%. If we want to write it as a decimal, 
that would be point, we would move our decimal place two spaces. So it would be point zero zero. So we're filling in a zero here. Seven. <clears throat> and the kind of opposite of that, the percent that doesn't fail, would be equal to 99.3%. So it's 100% minus 0.7%. And that written as a decimal, again, we could move it over two. That's going to be equal to 0 0.993. So that's the probability of it um, failing versus probability that it's not failing. And so for our expected value, we're going to take the probability that we fail times what that costs. Well, it costs the company $350 dollars but they did get forty eight dollars from them so at first I'm thinking this would be three fifty but because um, someone gave them forty eight dollars it's actually their only loss is going to be three hundred and two dollars <throat> and then the outcome for the not failing well they are going to gain forty eight dollars for every one of those and so then this ends up to be 45.55 if you enter that into your calculator. So the company's expected value um, of each warranty is actually 45.55, which is a nice positive number so that the company is not losing money, they're gaining some money. <clears throat>